Live from Southwest Florida's news leader, this is Wink News This Morning. They saw an individual that they thought was Eric Freen, and they ordered him to surrender, to get down on his knees and raise his hands. The 48-day manhunt for the man accused of ambushing two state troopers comes to an end. Coming up on McNews this morning at 6, details of where Eric Freen was hiding and how the community is now reacting to the news. Well, plus, if you want to get across the bridges in Lee County without paying cash, you need to take part in a major transponder upgrade. Wing News has the details of the change and how much it's going to cost you. Trey Radel is back in the headlines and back on track. Coming up, how the former representative managed to get a clean record. And all new at 6, forget walking on sunshine. Some are walking on water, or at least trying to, and Wink News will explain how. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, October 31st. Happy Halloween. I'm Jen Stacy, And I'm Rob Spicker. Glad you're with us for Southwest Florida's News Leader. Wink News this morning at 6. Those stories and more are coming up, but because it's Halloween, it's Friday, it's the weekend, what about the weather? And it's raining, unfortunately, yes. for some people, some parts of Southwest Florida. Hopefully this isn't going to last all day, Joey. No, and that's the good news is I'll be gone by this afternoon, and we will be dry for this evening. So trick-or-treating tonight looks good. Out the door this morning. Not so good in some spots as we are watching. In fact, even some thunderstorms now working east of I-75 into Lee County to the west right now of Immokalee. But you're probably hearing some of that thunder as we are watching some heavier rainfall right around Bonita Springs area. Closer view right now into Bonita Springs showing some heavier rainfall just north of Bonita Beach Road up towards Corkscrew Road. We're looking at quite a bit of lightning now showing up uh, to the north of Corkscrew Road and that heavier rainfall stretching offshore. So Pelican Bay, North Naples, we'll see some rain moving in very shortly as well. A couple of light showers around Punta Gorda right along the river there, uh, Peace River, and then coming up 17, a couple of scattered showers up into the Arcadia area. Cold front is pushing through Tampa as we speak. As this pushes through southwest Florida this morning and early this afternoon, we'll see temperatures dropping off a little bit, but it will take that rain chance. That's the most significant thing for today. 71 degrees high temperature or temperature right now. Uh, high temperatures today in the low 80s with that chance of morning rain and then lots of sunshine this afternoon. <laughs> And speaking of that morning rain, going to be a wet commute across several parts of 75 through Fort Myers out toward Estero this morning and now moving into Bonita Springs. So as Joey mentioned, you are going to see rain in parts of I-75. You just saw Alico Road there just south of Alico between Alico and uh, Bonita Beach Road. That looks a little bit wet out there and we are going to be left with some wet roadways even where the rain has moved out. So our road weather index here across parts of Fort Myers, you see 4175 covered through Cape Coral. Our bridge is going to be wet and our out toward parts of uh, Charlotte County, Rotunda, Englewood, 776. All going to be a wet go at things this morning, so be careful on your Friday morning drive. That's your Wick News Traffic. Rob, Jen, back to you. This morning, there's one less person on the FBI's most wanted list. After a seven-week manhunt in the Pocono Mountains, Pennsylvania police have Eric Freen back in custody. Now, the 31-year-old is accused of shooting and killing a state trooper. As Mary Maloney explains, police took him into custody using uh, Freen's alleged victim's handcuffs. Police say this man, Eric Freen, had a mission to kill. After evading capture for 48 days, Freen is now in custody. At the place police say it all began. He has been stripped of his guns, his bombs, and now his freedom. Investigators say in September, Freen ambushed two state police officers, killing Corporal Brian Dixon. The self-proclaimed survivalist then fled into the Pennsylvania mountains, a place police say Freen knew well. If he got out of those woods, we were very concerned. Concerned he would kill police and people in nearby towns. I actually felt like I was in a war zone. It was hard to sleep for a few nights, worrying about where is he at. Now people can sleep easier. Thursday, a special ops team spotted Freen at his last hiding place, an abandoned airport about 40 miles away from where Corporal Dixon died. He was placed under arrest and handcuffed with the handcuffs of Corporal Dixon which I think is very appropriate. And placed in Dixon's patrol car. As Freen arrived to his cell, people held signs and smiled. After 48 days of living in fear, relief. I can't even explain what I'm feeling right now. This is awesome. Mary Maloney, Wink News this morning. Today, three men are on the loose after deputies say they broke into a home with a gun. Lee County deputies tell Wink News this happened around 8 last night in the 1200 block of Grant Boulevard. Two people inside did go to the hospital, but they're expected to be okay. 
So far, there's no word what the men took from that house. Deputies are expected to release some more information to us this morning. If they do, Wink News, of course, will bring you those updates. It is 6.05, and after a three-month investigation, Wink News is learning who shot first in a domestic violence incident between two Naples police officers. The state attorney's office now says Luis Monroy shot and injured Sergeant Amy Young inside of their Estero home back in July. And then he turned the gun on himself. Because of that, the attorneys say the Sergeant Young will not be charged criminally. As for returning to the force, the Naples Police Department is still deciding whether or not Sergeant Young will work once again. Also this morning, the governor of Maine says he's ready to protect the public after negotiations with an Ebola quarantine patient broke down. Casey Hickox is waiting to find out if a judge is going to sign off on a 21-day quarantine for her. She's the nurse who treated Ebola patients in West Africa, but has tested negative for the virus since coming back. She's uh, defying her quarantine, claiming it violates her constitutional rights. Ultimately, state officials decide if she has to stay inside until November the 10th. Tomorrow, hundreds of people in Southwest Florida will need to make a change inside their car. Yes, the old leeway transponders are timing out as the county works with the state turnpike enterprise to expand their system. So Wink News reporter Stephanie Suskind is in the studio with the details of this upgrade. Sounds like I need to make a trip to leeway. Yeah, good morning, guys. You got to make sure what transponder you have in your car. If you have one of those older bumper mounted transponders or one with a replaceable battery, you need to upgrade as the leeway system undergoes some technical changes. So here's what you need to know. The old system will deactivate tomorrow, but it's not just for the leeway system. This will actually help you be compatible with the statewide SunPass system and possibly other states as they work to expand. Now to upgrade, just head to the leeway service center. It's on Colonial Boulevard. You can purchase a new transponder there. There are two new options available to you, either a leeway mini that will actually stick to your windshield. It's 10 bucks or a hard case device that attaches to your windshield. That one will cost you $22. Now again, those older transponders will turn off tomorrow, so be sure to upgrade if you need to. All SunPass transponders are still compatible. Back to you guys. And today's going to be a day of celebration out in San Francisco. The city will honor the baseball's best team. There will be a victory parade for the Giants two days after winning the World Series in Game 7 against the Kansas City Royals. About a million people are expected to pack downtown San Francisco for the two to three hour parade. It starts at 3 Eastern time, so it'll be noon there. They're going to be having a good time yeah, there. Work Halloween, is Friday. Done yeah. By lunch in it's San Francisco. It's an official holiday out there <laughs> from work. The Giants up the ante when it comes to America's greatest game. Walmart is doing the same when it comes to holiday shopping. We're all new for you at 6 07. Wal Wink News learning Walmart's going to offer free shipping on what the retail giant considers this year's top 100 hottest gifts. The deal will start for you tomorrow. Now, some of those top items include Teenage, Mut Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures. And, of course, frozen light-up Queen Elsa dresses. <laughs> so free shipping. Yeah, on the top 100. That could be a good deal. Not too shabby. Yeah. Well, you are watching South of Florida's most watched morning news, Wink News this morning. After the break, Wink News meteorologist Joey Silvine's back in, planning out your Halloween with our next weather on the ones and letting us know when ha what happens to that rain. It's 6.08.